M0FXB, welcome back to the channel. Zygu X6200 have released new firmware. So click the link that I will provide on the left hand side. Click firmware download. As that downloads, we'll right click on a space here. Right click. We'll go new folder. And we'll call it X6200 with an F for firmware. So we have a folder. And then we'll go to the download. Click up here, download, we're going to extract the whole lot to our new folder. If you look there, the important one is the SD card image here. But we'll extract the whole lot and we'll have a quick read of the release notes. Extract and our folder is on our desktop. We're going to go down to X600F, we called it, all the way down. Double click. OK, and then it's all going to get put into that folder. Let's have a quick look at the release notes. I haven't read these myself. Quite a long list. Adds transceiver audio equalizer. Adds display adjustment options. Bandwidth spectrum waterfall color ETC. Adds spectrum center line switch. The user can choose to turn those on or off, adds MFK variable, st variable step, voice compression, automatic screen backlight dimming, CW decoder threshold adjustment, adds waterfall map, translation switch, the waterfall map will translate with the frequency changing after open, optimizes frequency spectrum display speed more smooth, Optimizes spectrum and waterfall automatic level, better signal contrast, easier to see clearly. Oh, this is all good, isn't it? Optimize the function key operation logic. Some switch parameters can be switched, adjusted directly by pressing the button without turning the MFK knob easy to operate. Fixes some display content display incomplete issue. Fixes the power alarm bug, CW bug. Transmit power control bug voice plosive sound. Okay, and popping sounds. Well, let's dive in and do this. Okay, download a program called Rufus. I'll put the link in the description. Get your computer SD card adapter and micro SD card. On the Rufus program, once you've opened it here, just click select. See where it says select here? Select and then go to the image that was in, in my desktop file that was called X6000. Double click it. So we've got the image and then just click start and click OK. And hopefully it will write that and just wait for it to go completely green. And then we literally just get that SD card, put it into our X6200 while it's turned off then turn it on and it should just work okay well this could be the first one in the world so SD card here put it in the gold side is facing front at the moment yeah that feels yeah satisfying click that we got there so we're now going to turn it off really you should turn it off first I really turn it off and when you finish this process, you do have to remove it before you turn it back on. So let's just power it on. And you do need an external power supply going to the Zygu. Let's wait for the magic. Little line there flashing. Something's happening as you can see. We zoom in, see what it's actually saying. And it seems to me like quite a big firmware change, if you ask me. It's good that Zygu are determined to fix the bugs before too many complaints arrive. does say update finished there. I did see that on the front. So I'm going to 
take the card out and connect my antenna and boot up. Let's power it on, antenna is connected. It's a 49 to one ballon with a 66 foot length of wire. SD cards out and we're just waiting for it to boot with the new version, I think it's 1.01. .01. And remember there's a second stage where you have to go in and select the update as well. Okay, we're on. It's, it definitely looks different. Just turn it. It's going to need some adjustment I would say. We haven't applied the other, remember the so let's do the setting, system, firmware upgrade, select, and then we're going to click upgrade. And this part apparently is quite important. I'm saying no at the moment. Ah, there it goes. And I think it wouldn't hurt to reboot it a couple of times, if you ask me. That's done. I'll go quit, and then I am, I am going to reboot it again. Oh, it looks like it's going to reboot on its own anyway. I'm going to hold down the power. There you go, hear that little buzz. Okay, funny how it starts with the volume down. Let's check the RF gain. Let's whip that down. Seems to be working fine. We'll do another video going through the list. Bye for now.